Crossroads is a place that, to me, it was a very humbling uh, experience. The people, you know, the things that they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. For the most part, I can say that the reason that I do things around here the way that I do them is because I feel like everybody should be treated like they're somebody. Everybody should have the opportunity to get their haircuts. Everybody should have the opportunity to laugh and talk about something and have a good time, opposed to just making it a place where it's very stressful. Well, I looked at the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moons and the stars you've established, and you've crowned Gloria with glory and honor. Well, I ended up on the streets in a dark part of my life with a number of other things happening. And so initially, one of the guys came and brought me here. I'll never forget it. And he's like, come on, you enjoy this place. He was also a client at the time. And so I was like, okay, cool. You know, I, what else could it hurt? I mean, I'm on the street. So I went. Uh, at the time, it was a director called Javis Taylor. He, he came after Pam did. And I was like, this guy is so busy. And he's doing a lot of stuff. But he took the time out that day to set down his busy schedule and ask me, what's my story? What's my story? And that's when my life began. So I went into the laundromat. I, I enjoy washing clothes. Believe it or not, I enjoy washing clothes. It's, it's not for anything but for the servant of God. I enjoy washing the laundry. Yeah. Those ladies can't cook. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I trust Crossroads is a blessing. It's a blessing. I look forward to it. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> it's part of my life. If one of us is feeling bad or under the weather or something, they worry about us. They care about us. And I just think that's absolutely godly of them to think of us that way. So we just try to meet the need of each individual person that comes up. Crossroads is always willing to partner with anybody who wants to give. We're really just out there for everyone, open arms. We want to make the chain, you know, as continuous as possible. I definitely think Crossroad needs a lot more donors when it comes to food, any kind of perishable items, anything that can help somebody else out. It don't have to be money. It can be anything. If you could spare a lunch hour, you know, we're open through lunch, to just talk to them and sit down and laugh with them and ask them how they're doing. I think it's important if you want to be a part of Crossroads, even if it's just to give your time, you're definitely doing the right thing. Anybody who out there and need somewhere to come eat lunch, work with, get your hair cut, um, take a shower, have medical treatment, food stamps, um, possibly help you get home apartment. Come here.